Hello everyone. Today we are going to study about equivalence relations. Now I hope you know what are relations. If you don't know relation, you can refer to the other videos to understand the definition of relation. So today we are going to study about the special kind of re relations that are called equivalence relations. Now equivalence relations are the relations which satisfies these three conditions. The first one is reflexive. The second one is symmetric. And the third one is transitive. Let us consider, we have a set A which contains three elements, 1, 2, 3. And let us consider a relation R on A. R is a relation on A. And the elements in R, we have 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1, 2 and 2, 3. These are the elements in the relation. Now we will discuss about all these three reflexive, symmetric and transitive one by one based on this example. Now first of all let's talk about reflexive. Reflexive <coughs> is a relation in which they say for all A belongs to A. That means for all the elements that are present in the given set must be related to itself. So, for all A belongs to A must imply that uh, A belongs to capital A implies each element is re related to itself. So, whatever number of elements you have in the set, that many relation, that many numbers should have relation with itself. Now, if we will take this example, in the set A we have 1, 2, 3. Now, we can see that in our R we have 1, 1. 1 is related to 1. Similarly, we have 2, 2. That means 2 is related to 2. We have 3, 3. That is 3 is related to 3. Now, there are 3 elements and all the 3 are related to itself. So, such kind of relations are called reflexive relations. Now, suppose I will give you a set. <coughs> this is reflexive. Suppose we have a set A as 1, 2, 3, 4 and I have a relation R such that 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 4, 3, 3. Suppose this is my relation. Now here you can see that I have 1, 1, 1, I have 2, 2, I have 3, 3. But what about this 4? This 4 is not related to itself. So such kind of relations are not reflexive relations. So for any relation to be reflexive, it is compulsorily all the elements should, should be related to itself. That's why we are using this symbol for all. Please pay attention to this symbol for all implies that all the elements in the set must be related to itself. Now the second one is symmetric. <clears throat> now symmetric. Now for the symmetric relation, this for all does not exist. This for all is only for reflexive relations. Now let's talk about symmetric relations. Now symmetric relation says, if, now there is a different word we are using here. Please mark my words. Here we have used for all. Here we are using if. If A comma B belongs to R, this implies B comma A should also belongs to R where A and B belongs to the set A. <coughs> now what they are saying, uh, if I am related to you, then you should also be related to me but this is the condition only if if i am related to you then only you will see that whether you are related to me or not otherwise by default we will say that this relation is symmetric because if this condition is not there now let us take the the set a we have one two three now the relation is 1 1 2 2 3 3 
वन टू टू थ्री एंड टू वन नाउ ह्योर यू कैन सी दैट आई हैव वन इज रिलेटेड टू टू आई हैव टू इज रिलेटेड टू वन वेरी ट्रू इफ वन इज रिलेटेड टू 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 इज ऑल्सो रिलेटेड टू वन बट नाउ इफ यू विल सी दैट हेयर वी हैव टू कॉमा थ्री विच इज नॉट रिलेटेड विच इज नॉट ऑपोजिटली रिलेटेड राइट वी डोंट हैव थ्री कॉमा टू सो दैट्स वाई इट इज नॉट सिमेट्रिक बट सपोज आई विल हैव अनदर रिलेशन ऑन द सेम सेट विच सेज वन वन टू टू थ्री थ्री वेयर वी हैव वन टू टू वन टू थ्री थ्री टू नाउ यू कैन सी दैट वन इज रिलेटेड टू 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 इज रिलेटेड टू वन टू इज रिलेटेड टू थ्री थ्री इज रिलेटेड टू टू सो वी कैन सी दैट ऑल द एलिमेंट्स आर देयर विच आर रिलेटेड टू ऑपोजिटली रिलेटेड सो दैट इज वाई दे आर कॉल्ड सिमेट्रिक रिलेशन सो येस दिस इज अ सिमेट्रिक रिलेशन आई विल गिव यू वन मोर एग्जाम्पल बिकॉज दिस क्लियर्स योर कॉन्सेप्ट सपोज आई हैव वन वन टू टू एंड थ्री थ्री दैट्स इट नाउ सिंस आई हैव वन वन टू टू थ्री थ्री वॉट डू यू थिंक विल इट बी अ सिमेट्रिक रिलेशन और नॉट Yes, it is a symmetric relation. Why it is a symmetric relation? Because I can say that since a comma b is not there, I will not look for b comma a. Right? I can see that I don't have one comma two. I don't have two comma three. Any element we cannot find any element which is related to any other element. So why will we see for the opposite? So that is why it is. by default as i told you already by default the relation is symmetric if you cannot find a comma b since we cannot see any a comma b here so we will not look for b comma a and by default yes it is a symmetric relation so can you see the difference here we had for all here it is compulsorily whatever number of elements you have in the set that many elements should be related to itself but here you can see that if condition is there if a comma b is there then only we will look for b comma a otherwise not and by default it will be a symmet uh, symmetric relation i hope i am clear to all any doubts please post it in the chat we will see to uh, see to it later okay now the third thing we will look for the transitive relation now what is a transitive relation now if i will uh, talk to you in a very uh, desi language then we can say that if i am related to you you are related to your friend then i am also related to your friend so this is called transitive relation when one quantity is related to the second quantity second is related to the third then one first should also be related to the third one so here they say if a is related to b b is related to c theek hai belongs to r then we will see whether a is related to c or not so if a is related to b b is related to c is there in the set then we have to see a uh, should be related to c also otherwise it will not be a transitive relation but if you cannot find if you cannot find a comma b and b comma c in r then by default it is transitive then by default it is a transitive relation okay so what i'm saying let us take example a is equals to 1 2 3 4 5 6 i'm having the relation r1 as 1 1 1 2 2 3 
Suppose this is a relation I have. Now here I can find A comma B. A is related to B and B is related to C. You can see that the, these two must be same. Wherever you are ending, the same you have to start for the second one. So 1 is related to 2, 2 is related to 3, then 1 must also be related to 3. So yes, we do have 1 comma 3 in the relation. Okay. So this is what you have to see. You have to see whichever relation are there. If condition is there, then, then condition should also be there. But suppose I will give you a relation. Again, let's take 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. Now suppose this is only what we have. So here, this relation is also a transitive relation. Why it is a transitive relation? Because there is no if condition. There is no one is related to any other element. Then why will I look for the other? So by default, it is a transitive relation. I hope you are getting the point. That it is very important to understand. Usually we do this mistake. Now if which kind of relation is this? I hope you know if uh, I am writing 1 comma 1. 2 comma 2, 3 comma 3 for the elements 1, 2, 3. Then what, what do we call such kind of relations? We call them identity relations. Identity relations. So, this is the smallest equivalence set that you can make on any equivalence relation you can make on any set. So, this is an equivalence. Equivalence relation. Why it is equivalence relation? Because it is reflexive, it is symmetric and it is transitive. All three of them. That is why it is called reflex, uh, equivalence relation. I hope you got it. What is uh, e transitive, what is symmetric and what is reflexive? Because we usually get questions on this, whether a case study question or a long question, definitely you will get something related to this. So, it is very important to understand the concept first. Then we will work on the questions that how we can solve them and what are the problems we can get. So, I hope I am clear with this that uh, the relation, equivalence relation is the one which is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. So, please go through this concept and if you have any doubts please post it in the chat i will definitely try to solve your queries and we will meet in the next video and if you like it please do subscribe to my channel thank you